Hello friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you like my videos. So today in this video we will discuss on centrifuge calibration that is a step by step guide. And for basics of centrifuge operation and other details I have already discussed in my last video. So you can refer to that video, right? Friends, my YouTube channel name is Pharma Quality. So please view, like, comment and subscribe my channel. So now here we will discuss the procedure to calibrate the centrifuge machine. So before starting the calibration, we should ensure that the centrifuge is clean and free from any residue. And also check for any physical damages or irregularities in the rotor and lid, right? So overall check for the proper condition, establishment and its connectivity. So now first we will discuss the timer calibration. That is how to calibrate the timer which is in built in centrifuge machine. So first set the centrifuge time from centrifuge display for a specific duration. For example 5 minute, 10 minute or 30 minute. So basically it depend on the different type of and range of centrifuge for the timer right and you can set the uh, timer as per the respective make and model and its type so for this you can refer the vendor document to know about the timer range right the next uh, start the centrifuge and simultaneously start the calibrated stopwatch so here you need to have the calibrated stopwatch and once you start the centrifuge as per the set time then at the same time you need to start the stopwatch then compare the actual time elapsed with the set time right so you can compare the time with the stopwatch with respect to the centrifuge time and calculate the difference so the acceptance criteria that should be within plus minus five seconds so now we'll discuss the speed calibration so first set the centrifuge to a predetermined speed for example 1000 2000 3000 or 5000 rpm so as per the operating range of different type of centrifuge you can set the rpm right then use a digital tachometer to measure the actual rpm so once you set the rpm then start the centrifuge and with the help of tachometer you can determine the rpm right then record the reading and compare them with the set value. So the acceptance criteria that should be plus minus 2% of the set speed. So now next is temperature calibration. So first fill the two sample tubes with water or any other suitable solvent and place it in the sample holder. Then set the temperature for example 5 degrees C with the rpm 1000 and time 30 minutes and start it so you can set the temperature as per the different types of centrifuge right so once the temperature reached a set temperature use a digital thermometer to measure the actual temperature inside the centrifuge chamber after stabilization so here once the temperature reach a set temperature you can use the thermometer and measure the actual temperature of sample that is water or some other suitable solvents then record the reading and compare them with the set value now the acceptance criteria that should be within plus minus 1 degree C so friends this is all about the calibration of centrifuge machine thank you